Hey, what's going on everyone? Michael back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use tags in Teams. Uh, if you aren't subscribed, feel free to subscribe and make videos on Power Automate, Microsoft SharePoint, Teams, and also I'll be putting out videos on Power Apps to them. So let's get into it. You want to start using tags with Teams. So I will navigate to a team I want to start using tags with. Uh, I'll be using marketing for this video. So you already have a team set up and you want to start using tags for grouping your uh, members of the team go ahead and click on the triple dot manage team and in this screen you'll have tags at the end right here so this team currently has myself as the owner and then we have two members down below so tags are really good for kind of grouping the members of the team so let's say we i have a marketing team and we have some interns on the team so i'll make uh interns ta tag and um tag for interns and here you can also add people so let's say abby is an intern on the team go ahead and press create so let me get back into the tag and as you can see we have a tag created a uh, group and as you can see we have members abby's in so let me create one for marketing let's say we want designers um tag for designers and let's say bob's a designer within our marketing team go ahead and press create as you can create as you can see we created two tags and this will group these members for when we have to ping them so you have a few other options here uh, you can triple dot you can chat with group you can edit and you can create a copy of the tag if you want to create a copy of it so let's go into the chat. So let's say I wanted to, uh, in the general channel, I wanted to t mention all the interns. So you would do uh, shift two for the at symbol. And as you can see, it suggests interns right here. If it doesn't show, let's say I have the designers, but designers isn't showing you, just go ahead and start typing and it'll start populating. But I want to tag the interns. So it'll kind of look like a hyperlink when you uh, tag the group. And let's say I want all the interns to report to launch at like 12.30. So All right, so I just mentioned all the interns. And so they'll get a notification and at in their activities saying, hey, uh, Michael tagged you to report for lunch at 12.30 in the break room. So let me actually add myself to a tag. So I will add myself to the designers tag. Uh, to add a member, you want to click on the tag, triple dot edit, add people. I'll start typing my name. Add. All right, so I'm now in the designer group. So let's say I wanted to kind of send a notification to all the designers of the marketing team. Hey, good work on the latest designs. And as you can see, the message gets the at symbol saying, hey, good work on the latest designs. And I will receive notification if I wasn't in the screen already. So that's a simple way how to use tags. I believe you can't you can't use them in private channels and shared channels, but you can use them if the channel is publicly available for the team. So that'll be the video for today. Uh, if you like it, feel free to subscribe, uh, like, leave me a comment, and that'll be the video. Have a good one.